All right, Ryan, let's start it off. All right. Uh, welcome all to Triton Gaming Fall GBM. Thank you all for coming. I really, really appreciate that so many of you guys showed up. Uh, there's 74 of you, like, holy mother of God. But no, 75 now. Jeez, you'll keep coming. But anyways, just as a quick reminder, if you are an attendee, please fill out the, uh, the form, the attendee form, so we know how many of you guys are here. It's posted right now inside the group chat, but then you can also find it within the Discord inside the um, <clears throat> inside the uh, GBM discussion. It's also pinned there, so you should be able to find it. If you still can't, please either message uh, Sam. She's in the chat somewhere. Uh, or, yeah, just any one of us, any of one of our uh, officers, we should be able to point you out to the right direction. So... Let's first begin. All right. So before I begin, I just want to quickly clarify with you guys, since you're all here, uh, what is Triton Gaming? I just want to ask you guys this question because uh, a lot of the times um, we sometimes get mistaken by other organizations that do the same thing. And it's, it's a bit... Uh, worrisome because at times they get really angry about it and then we're like oh no that's not what we're supposed to do one of the biggest examples is actually six techcom and their winter game fest it's not ran, ran by us even though a lot of people tend to think it is it's actually run by six techcom and when they see like oh this is run by triton gaming they even had as a cahoots question it's um they get a little bit peeved and I just want to try to prevent that as much as I can. So if uh, any one of you guys would like to either type or just speak out right now what you think Triton Gaming is, I'd really appreciate it. Yeah, this is not a rhetorical question. Please type your answers in chat. We have esports teams. You want to talk about that one, Ryan? Yeah, esports teams. Well, we'll talk about it once we move on. I just want to see what everyone else thinks. Really quick. <laughs> People are unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Tyler Fink. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, like just from what most of you guys are saying, it we basically are what you think it is. So I really genuinely appreciate that. Uh, if you could move on to the next slide, Miles. It's like I gotta click onto it. There yeah. we go. It's lagging a little bit. Um, but this is basically our mission. So our mission for you guys on campus is to create unforgettable gaming experiences, develop personal uh, professional success, and above all else, is to foster the growth of a welcoming and diverse gaming community here on the UCSD campus. Uh, some of you, I see some of you guys talking about uh, sports and whatnot. We do dabble in it, but recently we created a, a branch where we actually gave it to someone else to completely handle. So that they are known as UCSD Esports. And if you are interested in anything of like uh, their like esports or competitive uh, stuff, you need to go to them because we, we've given it off to them as we wanted to do like kind of split off the things so that they can have a much more easy, it's much easier for them and us to not only sponsor and help the teams uh, get the success and recognition they need with the recreation. So yeah, that's another reason why I did want to ask you guys what you think Triton Gaming is, right? Because now esports stuff is handled by them. Just wanted to clarify with you guys. So yeah, that's basically our, uh, our mission. And how we fulfill it is simply through three big factors. One of them being, <clears throat> sorry. So Miles, if you can move on to the next one. Yeah, so one of them is is our actually our podcast. So this is actually something we have restarted and is now streaming every once once a month. 
So it's, it features stuff about where we talk about, you know, Triton gaming itself and internal things, anything like that. Uh, we also talk about any upcoming gaming releases. For example, last podcast, we actually talked about uh, Final Fantasy 16, uh, Mario All-Star and all that stuff like that. So it's like really interesting things. Then we also still, even though we do leave it up to UCSD Esports for esports stuff, we still want to provide you guys opportunities and uh, just people from the industry themselves to have you talk. So we're also trying to get people on the podcast from the esports industry so that you guys have, you know, you know what it's like to maybe be inside of it or you can hear stories of what it's like uh, and so on and so forth, you know. And just much, much more uh, things else because we also talk about like just like really random tangents of just us like uh, talking about like some dumb stuff because I'm super passionate about uh, like Final Fantasy 14 or like stuff like that. And then Talak is like, our, our auto host was one of his talk. Um, he also talks about like Valorant stuff and I'm just looking at him like, mm, I don't know, coach. I don't like tacticals. <laughs> and I start roasting him and it's just kind of a, a back and forth between me and him. So yeah. Oh, Some with Twitch Prime. <laughs> oh, <believe me. laughs> but uh, just by the way, um, if you are interested in watching the next episode, it will actually come out uh, next week, Friday. So if you're interested in episode two, will be next week, and you can watch it at twitch.tv slash Triton Gaming. Now, for our second things that we do in order to fulfill our mission statement is actually through our socials. So first and foremost, we have our in-person socials. This, unfortunately, we all obviously know can't be held at the moment because COVID is canceling things faster than anyone and everyone else can. <laughs> So uh, let me just still give you guys the rundown on it. Nonetheless, once things begin to stabilize and hopefully you guys are still here. Um, so some of the in-person events that we used to run are stuff like um, Beach Bonfire, where we all go to Scripps Beach and we just chill and we just have some fun. Uh, we, as you can see in the picture right there, we also like cooking s'mores and stuff. So <clears throat> other times we're just making like small events for all of you guys can come and hang out with us and get to know us if anything and maybe join us more about that later but uh there's also other times where we hold fundraisers and you can chill with us at either bulba shops chipotle stuff like that so you can basically just say hey what's up <laughs> another way this is the one that we all do nowadays it's our in-houses and some of you are familiar with Usually for our in-houses, we usually hold stuff like Scriblio, uh, Jackbox, and little things like that. And for you guys to not only win like little prizes, but also uh, just to have a way to chill, relax, and have fun. And just want to uh, say, um, everyone who came out uh, to the Among Us um, in-house two weeks ago, yeah, about like two weeks ago, uh, thank you all for coming out. I really appreciate that. Although um, I would have joined if... Uh, <laughs> If I wasn't moving out and trying to move some things, uh, so I just kind of looked at far at you guys having fun. But I'm still grateful that all of you guys still came. I really appreciate it. But socials aren't our only things that we use to like fulfill that mission statement. Next, uh, what I'm going to talk about is the thing that you guys should know us for indefinitely. Like, if you didn't, I'm surprised you're here. <laughs> So let's just talk about like the first two small things that uh, we hosted the past uh, year, actually. So let's talk about like little divisions and uh, sorry, let me just uh, reiterate that. <clears throat> A little bit nervous. <clears throat> so with our events, this is the way, this is the best and way that we fulfill our mission statement um, because it's just, the best way that we can give back to you guys, the little pieces that uh, normally you can't ob uh, obtain without going all the way to, you know, TwitchCon or AX or anything like that. So we tried to provide you guys this small community here on UCSD campus so that you guys can have a place where you can just hang out and just chill with, you know, people of like-minded ideas with gamers and whatnot, you know? Uh, for example, with Division Showcase, um, what that, uh, what that event's mostly about is kind of this is in the name. 
we showcase our divisions. Wow, very creative. So basically in that event, uh, we basically just show them off. Uh, I hope through this event that you guys can not only find a community through uh, a, a, a game that you genuinely find passionate about, or you find a, something or find information about a game you didn't know you would like, and you go in and just go like, wow, I actually really like Osu, or oh, wow, I like Halo more than I thought I did. So I hope through that, through these, uh, for that event, I hope that that's what, how we can fulfill that sort of like sense of community. So Triton Gaming Olympics is an event that we hope that we'll, we'll, the primary reason why we created like that event was so that we can give you guys a place to chill and relax so that, you know, I know you guys are super, super busy, right? Being a student is not fun. Anyone who's, you all know what it's like. To be on to be going through this quarter system and everything, so through uh, events like Triton Gaming Olympics, we just try to give you that one breath breath of fresh air, so that you guys can uh, can just feel at home for once and just be like, oh, I don't need to worry about this final, this midterm, whatever it is. I can just chill, relax, play some games, and win some dope prizes from amazing sponsors that we have, because. Sometimes at these events, we gave out like graphics cards and a bunch of peripherals. So again, we're trying to do our best to replicate that as sponsors a bit more stingy due to COVID, but look forward to that. And then, oh, finally, we talking about our biggest, biggest, no, 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 uh, let's go back. Oh, oh a bit early, my yeah, bad. A bit early. Uh, <laughs> uh, now we're talking about our biggest event that we hold. So this, unfortunately, this event, uh, Tr Triton Gaming Expo, was not held last year. So anyone last year, you guys probably don't know what that is. But if you were here two years ago, I'm sure you guys know what that is. Because this is our kind of replication of uh, like tr uh, TwitchCon, uh, Anime Expo, Fanime, uh, any of those big name events. This is our little replication so that you guys can have something here at home. Right, we have Artist Alley. We have yeah, Artist Alley. Paul, yes, sir. E3. Basically, we try to model it after these giant events so that you guys have uh, can have a taste of that without going all the way to you know LA or wherever the heck these uh, uh, places are uh, held at. So we have panels through for like streamers, uh, industry people. Uh, we have an Artist Alley. We have cosplay. We have. Uh, tech companies come out, show off their new uh, uh, peripherals and everything, pricing, games, anything. Basically, we, we try to give you guys the best example of, or best replication of one of these events here on UCSD campus so that you have, you know, just a taste of it while you're, you're preparing for finals. And we just want to give you guys a piece of that that, you know, you guys are missing. So... Even though, so let's like finish that about like boomer events. Let's talk about some current events like Zoomer stuff. Okay. Also, if you could go to the next one, thank you. So hi, these are our current events. If you were guys were part of T, uh, a part of uh, the TG Discord over summer, you have the Scribbly. You guys might have participated in the Scribbly IO Battle Royale. So this was basically uh, you guys battling it out with words and drawings. I didn't know you could kill people with with those two things. Y'all are insane, <laughs> next level people. <laughs> like, this was like a pretty fun event. And for everyone who was there, I really like had a great time, even though some of our officers were participating just for, uh, you know, raid bosses. But if you could beat the raid boss, you got some pretty good extra stuff. Uh, that was a really fun thing that we held over this summer. Uh, just something that we're coming up with uh, recent, uh, later on this quarter. It's still We're still hashing out some like, logistics and whatnot, but it will premiere this quarter, and it is the Minecraft event where you guys can once again go at, e at each other's throats, but instead of that, uh, you know, drawings and pictures, you go at each other with blocks, okay? So you can either kill each other in... Uh, 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 what was it Hunger called games. again? What was it called again? Hunger Games. Hunger Games. Sorry, my my <laughs> my mind just like brain farted super 
hard right there. But Hunger all good, Games, all they got you guys like you guys can have fun in there. And if you want you no know, non-violent stuff, we still got like little things coming up, like little mini games like dodgeball and stuff like that. So and if you don't want to do that kind of stuff, we got you. No worries. And just by the way, with that graphic, Bianca, 20 out of 10. I really genuinely appreciate this. Like that's amazing stuff. And just a quick shout out to my entire creative uh, committee uh, who you saw made these entire graphics. These are all handmade, by the way. Uh, it's just amazing and just incredible work that they all did in about like maybe a day or so. Like these, this is just simply amazing. And speaking of which, if you could, Miles, let's go, let's talk about some full recruitment, right? If you are genuinely interested of in making those graphics that you saw so far and the ones you're about to see please consider joining us and if you're interested in making events like this or the events that i talk about please also consider joining tg because that's what we're all about here so yeah uh for fall recruitment i just want to quickly like give you guys a quick spiel about it um applications do close today so if you do uh, are if you are planning to join today uh, join please fill it out by today, but if this is the first time you guys are uh, hearing about a you know full recruitment and this just aligns perfectly with what you exactly you want to do like you want to give back to uh, the gaming community somehow some way and you just want to do more with gaming, then please also still consider applying and I if you don't think you can apply through the time you have left today. Uh, just again, it's never too late. But I'm gonna also message either me. He's our HR director. If you can message either me or him, uh, we will extend it to at the very least to tomorrow midnight. So if you are genuinely still uh, uh, serious about applying, but you just can't make it today for whatever reason, we'll still keep it open for you guys until. Uh, tomorrow and please also don't be afraid to join because i know uh, a lot of people from the info session that we previously had had some concerns thinking like oh i have to have all these skills i already need to know what to do in photoshop and blah 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 um, no you don't actually what we look for primarily in uh, our recruitment or for recruiting people is not a skill set that you guys have you can literally come in here with absolutely nothing and we, we, as long as you can show me that you have the passion and ability to want to do and provide more for the, the gaming community here in UCSD Esports, I'll gladly welcome you into the TG family. So please don't be afraid if you do not have some sort of skill sets, because that's just a plus for your application. What we primarily look for is just people who, they care. If you just care, then <laughs> I'll gladly welcome you in. So anyways, enough of that. You guys can kind of get into the real meat of this event. So if you could, Miles, take it away. All right, so we're gonna have our divisions talk about themselves now. Um, unfortunately, we really only have like one minute or so per each division. Hopefully it's gonna be enough so you can get a good idea of what each community is like. However, if you really wanna get the full grasp of what a community is, then you actually have to go to the division discord and feel that out for yourself. But either way, I hope that these presentations are informative and you know, kind of encourage you to reach out to the communities that we have in our divisions. And we're gonna go roughly in order. I know Triton Fighters had someone who had to go early, so they're gonna go a bit earlier than their list says. Um, but to start us off, Triton Smash. Assuming the Triton Smash person is here. If not, I can present their slides for them. All right, well, it seems like this is the last call for Triton Smash. Um, I guess I'll go through the, the slide then. So Triton Smash is UCSD's Smash Ultimate organization. 
And it's important to make the distinction for Smash Ultimate because we do also have a melee division, which will be coming up soon. And while they do dabble with other Smash games, it's primarily Smash Ultimate right now. And right now they're running online tournaments. They also have streams at their Twitch, twitch.tv slash Triton Smash. And their Discord community is really good to meet other UCSD students who play Smash Ultimate. You can catch some friendly games with people, talk about the game. And they do have a meme channel. Sometimes I pop in there when I get the opportunity. Also important to mention, they have a separate rating system for online. If you've ever played Smash, you know that input delay can be a little bit rough to play with. You can go play like Bowser, King K. Roll, and kind of just stomp people because of input lag. So there are separate ratings. And then when people are in person again, there's a ladder for playing games with no input lag. And now we're going to be moving on to Triton Valorant. I sincerely hope the Triton Valorant head is here because he is part of Triton Gaming. <laughs> Talak, you want to take it away? All right. Thank you very much, Miles. Uh, so Triton Valorant is UCSD's premier Valorant community. Uh, we have a lot of focus on competitive play and casual play. Um, we're very Discord-based right now. That's where a lot of our stuff happens. Um, it's really fun. If you want to find people to queue with, because I know solos can be rough uh, out there. Um, obviously, that's a thing. And uh, yeah, just in general, if you're interested in the game or you know you think it's fun, you should join. All right. Thank you for that, Talak. Next, we're going to be moving on to Triton Fighters. A little bit out of order, but hopefully that's not an issue. Triton Fighters. Uh, yeah. Can you hear me? Yep. Uh, yeah, so Triton Fighters is the org we have for most fighting games outside of Smash. When we held meetings in the past, we also included Sm Smash in our meetings, though. So you shouldn't be discouraged. You should come if you do play Smash or are interested in fighting games in general. We accept people of you know all skill levels. If you don't know anything about fighting games, we still want you to come. Um, so it's a community that for people that loves that anything has to do with fighting games. If you're interested in it, we recommend checking out the Discord or coming by. Uh, right now, we're only hosting online events, of course, because of the current situation. We're holding a different fighting game tournament every week for like different games. We're going through Under Night, Grand Blue Fantasy, um, and Tekken for these upcoming weeks, I believe. Um, I can drop a Discord link inside the chat. And then, so most of the information and announcements we'll have will be through the Discord. But yeah, if you're interested in anything fighting games related or want to learn more about fighting games, uh, I recommend checking us out. Thank you. Thanks, Nathan. And important to mention, all of these Discord links are in our division directory channel. And so don't feel pressured if you can't join all the Discords you want to right now. You can just easily go through the list later, click on which ones you like. It's that simple. Yeah, exactly what Derek's saying. Hashtag division directory. Try to make it as simple as possible. So hopefully you guys check out our divisions. Now we're going to be going back to the front of the list with Triton Melee, William. Uh, hi. Yeah, so Triton Melee is UCC's club or community for uh, playing Melee. Um, currently, we will see we're active in our Discord where we just, you can discuss Melee or come to play Netplay with people at UCSD <clears throat> or just in general San Diego area. Um, also join the Triton Melee Facebook page to get event updates. Uh, currently, we're not plan hosting events in the fall just because um, the inability to host like in-person tournaments and events and online play and organizing it isn't great right now. Um, but yeah, you can find players in our Discord to play Slippy or net play matches and you can contact me if you're interested in learning more about the organization. Thank you, William. Yeah, and even if you don't play me Melee, Melee is a really sick spectator sport. So I highly encourage you to at least try watching the game. If you've only seen like Smash Ultimate, it's just kind of insane seeing the way people move, right? Chris with wave dash moment. All right, Triton, wow. Serena? Hello, can you hear me? Yep. All right, so uh, Triton, wow, we are a fairly new division, part of TG. Um, we have some people in our division that are very seasoned players that push as high content as possible and to to brag about one of our lovely division leaders. She recently reached rank one world on her class. So that's pretty cool. Um, 
we're basically open to any, anybody that wants to try out the game, whether you're new or you want to come back to the game because there is a new expansion coming out pretty soon. So if you want to join us for that, and we are looking to create some competitive teams down the line for PVE and PVP. So if that interests you, come check us out. Thanks, Serena. Now we are going to be moving to Triton Rainbow Six Siege. Uh, hello. So uh, we're the UCSD Triton Siege team. Uh, we've we're relatively new and we started last year, but uh, since every quarter that we've participated in a Rainbow Six Collegiate Tournament, we've always ended up top 10. And luckily, Ubisoft, the developers of Siege, started uh, sponsoring the Collegiate Program. So we launched their own tournament with $35,000 uh, as a prize pool. And given our track record and everyone on the team has a really good uh, has a really good vibe and we've been practicing and screaming. So uh, we do have a great community here, but it's more lean towards competitive if you uh, if you want to play Siege competitively and we're always looking for more people to join the team. Definitely. And we always encourage the divisions to get involved in collegiate stuff just because we want to get UCSD out as a name for gaming. So. It's always great when we hear about collegiate stuff like this. All right, Hearthstone. Hello. 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 Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Hello, uh, my name is Spencer and uh, I am a co-head of the Hearthstone division along with uh, Victor Wang. So with Hearthstone, uh, we, we're more of like a, a chill kind of like social club because uh, the Hearthstone like competitive scene is actually done in groups. Uh, so uh, as you may know it, uh, Hearthstone is a single player game, but Blizzard Tespa's like official tournament for collegiate is called the Hearthstone Collegiate Series and it is done in teams of three. And this club was actually restarted um, because of uh, my my team, so me, Victor, and Ryan, uh, we we like got together over Discord and on uh, Facebook, and we signed up for the team, and we actually made it to the regionals uh, three times over over my time at UCSD, and I'm graduated now, but uh, the club's still going, and we're looking to keep on uh, expanding. Uh, we have ideas for like battlegrounds, like the uh, like casual competition stuff like that, because of the uh, they have like a new like grouping system that you can do with battlegrounds. Because it used to only be able to queue into the system, but now you can make like custom parties, which is really cool. Because battlegrounds has a zero barrier to entry mode; it's their auto battler system. So that's how I, I see the club going to the future for more like casual play. And we also do like fireside gatherings to get you guys the, the card backs if you guys don't already have those. I know they're, that's like extremely hard to come by, especially in like this current year era. <laughs> but uh, we'll be looking forward to uh, getting back to normal again and all these other things going. And uh, I think the signups for the Tespa Cleach series is actually over because of how late UCSD started, but uh, don't worry. They usually have a fall s split and like a, like a spring split, if you will. So yeah, make sure to check us out. Uh, <laughs> sling some cards. All right. Thank you, Spencer. Um, I guess the Siege Discord is outdated. So Ryan, if you could post the new one in the Zoom chat. We can get that updated on division directory. I guess maybe they made a new one at some point. Um, so hopefully you can get that fixed. Um, but yeah, that's enough for Hearthstone. Um, now, I, I really hope the division head for Splatoon is here because he's one of the ones that helped me with the game show portion of this, which we're going to get to next. Um, oh. But David, yes. <laughs> tell us about Splatoon. All right. Well, hello to everybody. Uh, my name is David Fables. I am the head of Triton Splatoon. Uh, we are 
a division that is uh, based on a lovely 4v4 shooter uh, created by Nintendo. It was a bit of an experiment, but it kind of has since taken off. So we are uh, all currently play Splatoon 2. Uh, we are a community that is both casual and competitive. So all are welcome. Whether you have played the game for a while, uh, what, five years, I think this series has been going, if you've been playing for five years, or if you have literally heard about this game five minutes ago, uh, anyone is welcome to join us. And we will be glad to show you the ropes of the game. Uh, well, a couple of things uh, is that we are also part of the Collegiate Cephalopod Association. This is the very first Collegiate League for Splatoon that was founded in partnership between UCSD and Purdue University. Um, and we are also recruiting for our competitive team. So if you are interested in playing Splatoon more competitively, uh, if there's like one person out there, <laughs> uh, we would uh, love to talk to you. So head on over to our Discord. You can find that in the division directory uh, in the TG server. Last thing is that we do have a fall GBM uh, just where we're gonna talk about our plans and stuff for the year, uh, how you can get involved with, the, uh, with our division and stuff about competitive and just have a chill game night. Uh, so that says TBA on the slide, but it is going to be Wednesday, October 14th at 7 p.m. More information will be in our server. Thanks for that, David. Now we're gonna be going to Triton Halo, who I hope the division head Andrew is no longer in his car, but if so, I hope he's being safe. Uh, I'm, in, I'm in the gamer room now, don't worry. Nice, you're in the game room. All right, yeah. tell us about Halo. Uh, yeah, sure. So uh, we're trying Halo. I'm the uh, president of Trying Halo, by the way. Um, we're we're super new. We're grassroots. We just started up uh, last year. Um, so we're pretty cool. Uh, we play Halo on Mondays and Wednesdays from six to eight. It's uh, just drop in. We we alternate between MCC on PC and Halo Five and MCC on Xbox because uh, there's no cross yet. Uh, that will be coming soon though, so we'll be excited for that. Um, we definitely, we do tournaments here. Uh, sometimes they're paid, sometimes they're just for glory. Um, we, uh, and, uh, the way that we, uh, run our meetings now, thanks to, uh, COVID is, uh, over streaming. So I, I put up a stream and it's able to join. And, uh, since I'm pretty, uh, placed within the Halo community, uh, sometimes you'll meet some cool creators, uh, people like I Spiteful, um, I, I play with a lot of Halo devs every once in a while, things like that. So if you're really interested in Halo, if you know anything about it, if you don't know anything about it at all, actually, uh, this is a pretty cool way to, to join up. Um, yeah. Okay. Is there cable in your way? No. Like, <laughs> all right. Yeah. Thank you for that, Andrew. Um, one of the interesting things about Halo is that they're actually, as you mentioned, a very new division. Andrew literally just waltzed in and he's like, how do I make a division of Triton Gaming? And if you get four principal members and you make a student org, we can definitely discuss making a division. I know someone wanted to make a Call of Duty division. That's definitely up in the air. So if there's a game you're really passionate about that isn't represented, if you're willing to put in the work, we're willing to support you here at Triton Gaming. All right, on to Osu. Uh, hello? Hey, how's it going, Calvin? Uh, hey, hey everyone, I'm the head of the OSU division. Uh, we're a division that focuses on everything OSU, mostly standard, but there's been a few people joining our Discord that's been playing Mania too. So if you're more into that, you should still check us out. Uh, so things we do every weekend is we hold a casual multi-lobby with OSU clubs from other UCs. So you'll see people from UCI and UCR and it's a great chance to just relax and play, play Osu songs with other people. Uh, we also used to hold LAN tournaments every winter and spring quarter, but this year is gonna be different obviously, but we are still planning to host tournaments. So if you're a more competitive player, make sure to join our Discord to see announcements for when we do announce the tournaments. Uh, so you can join through the link on the slide or through the D TG Discord. All of our activities happen through Discord. So if you're really interested in OSU, make sure to join our Discord. Uh, other things to know, uh, since we're an OSU club, we're all also automatically leaves. 
So that means we've been really into VTubers and Genshin Impact recently. So if you're also into that, more reason to join, right? So uh, that's all I got to say. Thanks for listening. Thanks, Calvin. The, the chat's kind of blowing up since you mentioned Genshin Impact. <laughs> uh, a lot of TG officers have been playing it, me included. So, <laughs> all right. Uh, Heroes of the Storm is an interesting case. We gave them the opportunity to speak if they wanted, but they said they weren't interested in speaking. But we do have a Heroes of the Storm division. So if you do play Heroes of the Storm, go check it out. But we don't have a presentation like we do for the other divisions. However, we do have one for Dota. Dylan? Hey, guys. Uh, I'm assuming you can hear me loud and clear here. Yep. Um, so I, along with uh, Marcel, I saw him in the chat earlier. Not sure if he's still here. Uh, me and Marcel and Sam are basically the three leaders of Triton Dota. Um, we have two competitive teams. We also play a lot of in-houses. Oftentimes, we'll be scrimming against uh, UCLA, UCI, and UC Berkeley teams. Um, and those games are usually streamed as well. We also stream our in-season competitive games that happen on Saturdays at noon. So if you want to come check out watch some uh, high level high level Dota. I would really appreciate that. Um, it's a fun spectator sport. There's a lot going on, but the colors on the screen are really pretty. Um, we also in-house a lot of other party games. Dota 2 has a pretty vibrant custom game community. Um, so sometimes on weeknights or some chill weekends, we'll be playing uh, Dota Run and stuff like that. So, I mean, come check us out on the Discord and you can find me, Marcel and Sam. We're all very responsive or you can hit us up on Facebook as well. We've got a, a page and a group. So if you want to know a little bit more about that through social media aspect, we've got that covered as well. Uh, come check us out. All right. Thanks, Dylan. We'll go right on to CSGO. Uh, can you hear me? Yep. Sick. OK, hi, I'm Wes, uh, president of Triton Counter-Strike. And Triton Counter-Strike is UCSD's club for all things CSGO. We're welcome to anyone, whether you're a global elite or a silver, you know, beginner expert, whatever level you are, we welcome you. Um, we do both competitive and non-competitive events. We've had 10 mans tournaments, you know, event watch parties, everything you can really think of in the past. Um, we have a pretty successful uh, group of competitive teams. Uh, our D1 team finished fourth and sixth in their respective leagues in the country. And our JV team, uh, D2 finished 16th and 12th. Um, in addition to a bunch of smaller tournaments, um, like, uh, at other UCs, um, you can find us at Triton Counter-Strike on Facebook. Our discord is linked in the TG discord as well. Um, and keep your eyes open for a survey because we're still trying to figure out how to fully adapt to online everything, um, where we can get uh, feedback from everyone about what you would like to see from us. Uh, but yeah, we look forward to seeing you in our discord. Thanks Wes. All right, we already did do Triton Fighters. Um, so now we're gonna be talking about Triton Overwatch. Um, Overwatch division is kind of a transitional state right now. Uh, the leadership's a bit wonky. So I believe we're actually gonna have the team manager for Overwatch speaking rather than the division head if he's here. Hey, how's it going? Uh, hey. I'm Alistair. I'm the team manager for the competitive Overwatch team at UCSD. Um, yeah, like, like was said before, there's kind of like a transitional state right now. Uh, the current Overwatch community is pretty competitively centered. Um, and we currently focus, uh, or at least me personally in the group that I work with, which is the esports team, um, we're in the process of fielding two to three competitive teams in a collegiate league. Um, this is our varsity and our junior varsity team, um, both of which are currently accepting tryouts for another week if people are interested. Um, we have historically been a very competitively focused group, but we're also looking to kind of like expand our community and open up the Overwatch team to people who are interested in just learning about competitive Overwatch, learning about the collegiate esports scene. Um, and anybody who's like super interested or has like competitive experience with Overwatch is more than welcome to uh, apply for the teams. There is like uh, the varsity team has, has a very high skill rating, um, but the entire or like the entire team system is, is open tryouts. Um, and even if you're just interested in like learning about competitive or collegiate Overwatch, feel free to reach out. Um, we're looking for people to build a community with. All right, thanks Alistair. And to clarify, um, the Overwatch team is technically under UCSD Esports, but 
we are close with UCSD esports, so that's why we wanted to get some representation in. And this is probably the closest thing we have to an Overwatch community right now. So wanted to get that for all you Overwatch fans out there. Now we're going to be moving on to Triton Rocket League. Hello, everyone. My name is Cameron. I am one of the principal members for the UC San Diego Rocket League community. So we're a pretty relaxed community. We don't dabble much in the competitive side. We do put four teams to collegiate Rocket League, but we don't go much further than that. A lot of it's just kind of hanging out with other members in the Discord, doing in-houses. We do those pretty often, a couple times a week. We hold tourneys within our Discord, so we actually have our fall quarter tournament coming up starting next week. We have applications of, or sorry, we have signups open for that still. So if you're interested, come uh, join our Discord. We play with all ranks. Everyone is welcome. And we've got our QR code in the bottom right. So just go ahead and scan it. All right. And I think um, the Rocket League Discord was also posted in Zoom chat if you want to check that out. Um, I'm personally more of a fall ball guy myself. I kind of smooth when I play fall ball, but Rocket League definitely has some more complexity to it, I think. So definitely check that out. All right, and StarCraft. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yep. Cool, uh, my name is also Cameron, spelled with a C. Uh, I also go by Cam. Um, I'm the admin of UCSD StarCraft. We are a division under both uh, TG and UCSD Esports. Uh, we are a community that sort of handles everything related to StarCraft. So right now it's mostly StarCraft 2 um, because as you guys probably know, StarCraft is a very, very old franchise. Um, and we are home to one of the best uh, StarCraft teams in North America. We finished top four for, I think, three years running uh, right now, as of now. Um, but we welcome anybody and everybody who's the least bit interested in StarCraft and in RTS games, because I think it's safe to say that RTS is not the most popular genre right now. Um, but yeah, come check us out. Uh, we're mostly Discord based and uh, yeah. All right, thanks Cameron. And now I'm assuming a lot of people here play League of Legends. And so this, is, this next one's gonna be really important for you all. Uh, but we're going to be talking about League of Tritons. Um, okay, so, hi, my name is Jenny. Can you guys hear me? Yep, loud and clear. Okay. All right. Hi, my name is Jenny. I'm the president for League of Tritons. Um, so, <laughs> what is League of Tritons? We're the League of Legends club on campus. We host a lot of social events but we also do a lot of tournaments and we do field a competitive team um, in collaboration with UCSC esports i'm also the team manager for the junior varsity and varsity teams so if you guys are secretly challenger please let me know um we just we're finishing up recruitment at the moment, but we are super open to having um, a second recruitment if there's enough interest. Um, and then let's see, we're trying to make our um, Discord a lot more active nowadays because of COVID. Um, you won't see us as active on Facebook anymore but please join our Discord. We're going to have our fall GBM on Monday night at 7 p.m. I hope to see a lot of you guys there. We'll go over our upcoming events for the quarter, which includes a lot of 1v1 tournaments, um, socials, in-houses, and more. So yeah, hope to see you guys there. Thanks, Miles. Thanks to you too, Jenny. All right. And let's transition right into Pokemon. We are almost at the game show portion. Trust me, that's going to be a lot of fun. So stick around for just a little bit longer, I promise. Pokemon? Uh, hi there. Um, so Pokemon League at UCSD does uh, all things Pokemon. So uh, we play uh, competitive Pokemon as well as casual uh, games. So we ha have hangouts in our, uh, we're, we'll be doing Discord hangouts uh, on Fridays. Uh, for this quarter, uh, normally we'll have hangouts in person, uh, so starting from maybe winter, spring quarter, whenever things get back to normal. 
Uh, we also try to go to in-person events as much as possible uh, as a group. So if you're ever interested in joining uh, the VGC community, uh, a lot of our members have been very successful in uh, tournaments in the past. And we try to support people who uh, go to these tournaments as well. And uh, our normal meetings will uh, normally just be hanging out and playing Pokemon. So if you ever want to just uh, stop by, uh, come join our Discord or our Facebook uh, group. Uh, we'll be active in both. Uh, try to be more active on Discord this quarter because of the online environment. Uh, but yeah, I hope to see all of you guys there. Awesome. Thanks, Michael. And I have to give a quick disclaimer about the next one. Intermission Orchestra is not a division of ours. They are a partner. And the reason why I wanted to let them speak is because at most live events that we have, Intermission Orchestra plays. Um, I won't spoil too much of it, but they play a lot of video game and anime music. So it's fair to say that they're very tied in with the Triton gaming community. Um, but without further ado, let's take it to Intermission Orchestra. Hi everyone, thanks for the intro Miles. Um, so yeah, so the Intermission Orchestra at UCSD is a club for all student musicians, um, artists and filmmakers, and pretty much we focus on doing and arranging music from video games, animes, and film scores. Um, as I mentioned earlier, we take all skill levels of musicians um, and all of our arrangements are done by our students in our org, whether you are a music major or not. Um, and so yeah, practically we, we perform at live events such as TG's different um, events every quarter. We also perform at Anime Fest, um, Missouri Festival, a bunch of different things throughout the quarter. Um, everything's a little bit dis different now because uh, we are online. However, we are still active. Um, so if you are a musician or an artist or you like editing um, videos and or audio, um, we are still taking new members this quarter. And so um, be sure to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, or email us at the intermission UCSD at gmail.com. Um, I, along with my social media managers, are on the other end of those, and we would be happy to answer any questions about joining our organization um, or what we're doing this quarter. A uh, quick overview of what we're doing this quarter. We're doing virtual ensembles, so we're still letting the music happen this quarter. And um, we're still having all of our rangers in action. Um, we're just gonna be recording and editing those videos together. Um, in addition to having socials throughout the quarter every single Friday during our normal rehearsal times, roughly around six to 9 p.m. And yeah, uh, we have a possible GVM coming up uh, next week. Not too sure if it's gonna be social informational. Um, I will be posting our informational GVM that we did have on our social medias. So be sure to look out for that. And yeah, reach out please if you have any questions and I'll also stick around later or now and later if you have any questions. Great, thank you, Melissa. And now we've made it through all of our divisions, all the info about Triton Gaming. It's time for the gauntlet. So David is gonna be helping me out a lot with this. Um, David, do you want to explain the gauntlet or should I go for it? Uh, you can go ahead and start us off here. All right, and then I'll let you take the reins after that. So everyone here is gonna run through the gauntlet and there are several different versions of the gauntlet. There's six different Kahoot quizzes. Each one has five questions. And whoever comes out on top from that Kahoot quiz it's the opportunity to participate in a prize round. And if you've already won, you can't win again, just that everyone gets a chance. Or if you don't wanna participate, I know this meeting is being recorded. Some people might not be interested in that, or I don't know, maybe you might not be interested for whatever reason. You don't have to, we can pass it on to second place, no worries. And for each prize round winner, you have the opportunity to win up to $15 in Amazon gift cards, depending on how well you do. So if you do a perfect job, you get 15. If not, you settle with how well you do. Mm -hmm. All right. And so we are going to be going to the first gauntlet, which is going to be about Triton Gaming. How convenient. You just learned about that. <laughs> yeah. So hopefully you were paying attention because this first uh, gauntlet is all about Triton Gaming. So this is going to be a Kahoot format. It is going to be five questions per round, all right? So just so uh, your head is in the game of, on this one, it is five questions. Whoever is at the lead at the end of these five questions will become our first contestant in the prize round. And 
And I should also mention that the questions get more and more difficult with each one. So question five is gonna be super big brain while the other ones might be a bit more self-explanatory. Triton right. Gaming first, a little bit of spoilers, but uh, yes. yes, Nintendo, MOBA. So each category, like well, each gauntlet is based on some sort of category. So even if you aren't super confident in one, give it your best shot. Maybe there's going to be another category that uh, fits your expertise a little bit more. Right. So this one should hopefully be anybody's game as we start out, since it's all things Triton Gaming. Yeah, we're going to let you guys pick your own nicknames. Important to note, though, you either have to put your Discord name or, or I guess your Zoom name as your name or be able to provide a screenshot of your results. So if you want to go with like a fun meme response as your name, go for it. But just keep in mind, you'll have to like DM us a screenshot on Discord or something. So if you're not confident, you can do that. Maybe put your Zoom name. Right, um, randomized order of answers. All right. Pin is loading right now. Yes. And in between gauntlets, you should be able to stay within the Kahoot. Uh, if not, then you just need to re-enter the pin and uh, pick another nickname. So. Go ahead and jump on in to this first round. Yeah, we'll give you guys time between each Kahoot in case it boots you out to put the pin back in. Yeah. Okay, because a lot during during our uh, trial run, a lot of people got booted, so it is very much possible that you might get booted <laughs> at the end of each uh, round here. Oh yeah, no inappropriate names. Thanks, Ryan. Yes. That's kind uh, yes. of self-explanatory, but yes, co copy bears are precious creatures. So definitely love that nickname there. So we have a comment from Tony. Cahoots on Zoom are just whoever has the least amount of lag. Some of these questions are tricky. So you do have to get all five of them right. Probably. <laughs> yeah. And so maybe that might be a factor. But just know that some of these questions, it's going to be worth big braining instead of no. Uh, can we get the music going? Um, you should be able to share your, uh, when you share screen, you should be able to share computer audio as well. There we go. There you go. I'm going to turn my volume down a bit so that I can actually hear myself think. <laughs> All right. Is there anyone else who's still trying to join? Give it another 10 seconds here. Wesley, there won't be an academic integrity violation. However, there will be crushing guilt at what you've done, so please be wary of that. Yes, your, your, your $15 will be full of guilt. <laughs> All right. All right, I'm assuming that is everyone. If you're not able to join, you are always welcome to join in for either another round uh, later on or in the middle of the uh, any given round. You can join at any time, really. Yep. Yeah, each one is its own separate Kahoot game, so performance in one doesn't affect the other. Exactly. All, All right. right. We are going to start. Best of luck to everyone. Let's kick this off with our first question. Who is the live events director of Triton Gaming? Seems like most of you got it. Yes, that is me. That is Miles, the live events director. Ryan is our president, in case you didn't catch that from earlier. Derek is our <laughs> resident Derek. 
And right now we have Ryan's bald spot as number one. Kelvin is two. And Stan Miles is number three. I appreciate the name, but know that flattery will get you nowhere. <laughs> no special advantages. Which of the following is not a TG event? <laughs> Six people for Triton Gaming Olympics. <laughs> Okay, that was that was on the presentation. I don't feel bad for anyone that put that. Sorry. But yes, Triton Gaming Olympics, we did winter of last year. Division Showcase was fall of last year. And Triton Gaming Expo, it's been a little bit, but we're hoping to get back to that. Yeah. Yes, it is Winter Games Fest. So that is Six Techcom. All right, and we have Ryan's bald spot, Capybara, and Anthony S. in the top three. All right, third question, getting harder. Which of the following is not a division of Triton Gaming? To answer Wesley's question, there was no TGX last year. We're going to try to experiment with doing stuff online this year but we'll have to see what we can accomplish. But we do have some ideas for that, definitely. But yes, we do not have a Call of Duty division, but it is entirely possible that someone can make one. Exactly. And the, the three people to put Osu, Kelvin is really sad right now. <laughs> <laughs> Brian's Bald Spot, Capybara, and Kelvin Chan. Dang, I'm sorry about that, Anthony, but be like that. Question four. What's the name of the Discord role given to participants in the Scriblio Battle Royale? Ooh, that was a tough one but it was aspiring artist. We do have a gamer role on TG Discord, but it's not for the Scriblio Battle Royale. Dang, Ryan's bald spot, still number one. We have Caitlin Bite coming up and then Kelvin still in third. The final question, which of the following is not a committee in Triton Gaming? <laughs> Ryan says Ryan's bald spot. Please, please. <laughs> there we go. Right. We don't have a competitive division. That's handled by UCSD exactly. Esports. All right. Well, let's take a look at who is going to be our first prize round contestant? Well, <laughs> <laughs> and a big congratulation to Ryan Bald Spot. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Kawak, are you Ryan's Bald Spot? I'm offended. What are you talking about? What is blasphemy? Don't be accusing me of this. You need, to, you need to stop hurting my feelings right now. <laughs> All right. For, for a disclaimer, I have hair. I, it's just not there right now because mean, I haven't I... seen it. Take the hat off. That that hair! What <laughs> bull spot? Unbelievable. That's a wig. What you talking about? That's a wig, bro. That's a All wig. Right. We need to get on with the game show. So, are we putting it to Caitlin then? The second place? Yeah, yes, sir. All right. All right, Caitlin, you're up for the first prize round. Leave that there for now. Actually, that was probably a mistake. Now there's Kahoot music in the background. <laughs> Whatever. You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll just keep it going. <laughs> yeah. All right. So this is how the prize round works. You're going to pick one of these six, Caitlin, and then 
you do whatever challenge is hidden behind these. And to give a quick explanation, these are all a test of a different part of you. There's brain, sight, soul, body, spirit, and voice. Which one do you pick? You could either let us know in the chat or you could unmute yourself. You're more than welcome to. Oof. Um, how about spirit? <laughs> spirit it is. Okay. I was gonna say, yeah, Scroll you down <laughs> don't don't <laughs> don't reveal the other ones quite yet. <laughs> I don't really have a choice. Oh, this is the fun one. We're going to the fun one first. David, you want to start us off? All right. So uh, how familiar are you with the once hit uh, TV game show Deal or No Deal? <laughs> because that is exactly what you're going to be playing today. We're going to be playing a shortened version of Deal or No Deal. Basically, <laughs> what you are going to do is we are going to show you 16 different crates and you need to pick one as your crate. From there, you're going to eliminate uh, about three crates at a time, uh, eliminating the amounts that when, are not in your case from uh, after selecting a few, uh, three cases we will turn to the banker the banker is going to offer you uh, a, a bribe we'll say to stop playing the game and just go with their offer you can from there you could either take the deal or say no deal and continue playing and eliminating more cases all right so any questions I'm good. All right. Well, Miles, go ahead and show everybody our cases. So you have cases one through 16, each containing a price between one cent and $15. <laughs> so get us started with what case you would like to select as your case. Um, I'll take... Hmm. Case 14. Case number 14. All right. That is your case to keep for now. All right. So I don't know if Miles, you're going to mark okay. it up or, okay. <laughs> right. So in that case, I'm going to move this case to the side. Uh, oh, oh. It's... Well, <laughs> not don't aware, don't but... move the case, Miles. Just put, well, you know Great. what? What we'll do? See, now you got a little bit of preview there, but we'll, we'll just keep it in mind that yours is 14. Bruh. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and get started uh, here. Go ahead, and we're going to uh, start this by picking four cases to eliminate. All right. What is going to be your first case to eliminate? Um, 16. 16. Miles, go ahead and reveal case number 16 for us. 16 was oh. $15. <laughs> Yikes. Um, All right. Okay. <laughs> well, Ooh, that's sort of the most. Oh. So you eliminated the top prize, but that is okay. There is, you could still get up to $14 here. All right. Go ahead and pick us another case. Um, 15. All right, we're just going to go right down here. 15, go ahead and reveal it, Miles. The $3. $3. All right, pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and pick another case. Um, seven. Seven. Go ahead and reveal it, Miles. Nine. Ah. All right, a little bit on the high end there, but that's okay. You got one more case to eliminate this round. What's it going to be? Uh, hmm. One. One. All right, go ahead and reveal it. Ooh. Oh, there we go. You got the one cent out of here. That is going to be huge for uh, this upcoming banker's offer. Although you eliminated both the 15 and the cent, you should get a pretty decent offer here. So... Let's go ahead and uh, just got to hear from our resident banker, Ashley, to determine what the offer is going to be. Your offer will be $6. 
Ooh. Six dollars. Do you want to take that offer or do you want to say no deal and keep playing? No deal. All right. No, no deal. deal. Okay. This next round, you will need to select three cases. Go ahead and pick your first case. Um, nine. Nine. All right. Let's reveal case number nine. Oh, oh that hurts. So it sad. is the fourteen dollar case. That is quite unfortunate, but we still got two more cases. All right, we can we can make up for lost ground here. <laughs> Go ahead and pick your next case. Oh. I'm gonna rotate that a little bit. Can I consult chat now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you are more than welcome to consult the chat. Chat, <laughs> go ahead and help out Caitlin here. Oh, okay. I guess three. All right. <laughs> Let's hope chat gives you a good one. Oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> chat is sabotaging you here. <laughs> Trust right. no one. Well, you have one more case to select before you get your next offer. What's it going to be? Okay. Um, uh, two. Two. All right. Miles, go ahead and reveal case number two. All right. All right. Okay. Eight dollars. All right. So, knocked out some high values here. Definitely means you're probably going to get a low offer. But let's just hear out the banker, and then you're going to need to make your choice. All right. So, banker, whenever you're ready. Your offer is now five dollars. Oh. Um. Oh. No deal. <laughs> no deal. All right. I had a feeling you would say that. So, no deal. Let's go ahead and keep rolling. In this next round, you're going to eliminate three more cases. What is going to be your first case? Um, 12. 12. All right, Miles, go ahead and reveal case number 12 for us. Six dollars. All right. That is right in the middle of the valleys you have left. So that's a pretty good start there. Let's go ahead and pick another case. Um, five. Five. All right. Oh. Oh. Uh. oh, no. Okay. Well, you have one more case before you get another offer from the banker. What's it going to be? Um, four. Four. All right, go ahead and reveal case number four for us, Miles. Seven dollars. Okay, so knocked out some medium values there. All right, so not it's not bad. All right, but let's go ahead and find out what the banker has to offer you. Your offer is still five dollars. <laughs> All right, another five dollar deal here. What's it going to be? Deal or no deal? Uh, waiting for chat. <laughs> okay. Uh. Do you remember what chat did to you last time? I know. <laughs> well, um, you do. You do have some security with uh with the little mishap we had earlier. Yeah. Wait. Am I allowed to change what I picked? No. Uh, oh. <laughs> so so you might as well keep both cases. Keep that case around. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh -oh. So. What's it going to be? Deal or no deal? Uh, no deal, I guess. No, no deal. deal. All right. So in this round, you have to eliminate two more cases. All right. What's going to be your first case? Uh, 10. 10. All right, Miles, please reveal case number 10. It's $5. Okay. So that, that's looking pretty good right now. All right. You have... One more case to eliminate. What's it going to be? What happens if I eliminate my own? You, you cannot. <laughs> okay. Just wondering. Uh, okay, yeah, six. Six. All right. Please reveal it, Miles. Ooh. One dollar. There oh. we go. Thanks, chat. 
<laughs> All right. This is going to look pretty good for you here. Uh, we should definitely see a much higher offer from the banker here. So let's go ahead and find out what that is. Your offer is now $7. $7. Now you need to decide whether you want to keep playing or not. In the next round, if you choose no deal, you need to eliminate one case. So deal or no deal? <laughs> no deal. No deal, okay. Well, let's get right into it then. One case, what's it gonna be? Uh, 11. 11, lucky number 11 for me. Is it for you? Oh. oh. <laughs> that is quite unfortunate, but it is now time for another banker's offer. Your offer is now $5. <laughs> oh, dropping down to $5. Well, what's it going to be? Deal or no deal? You have to eliminate one more case. And then after that, you should probably take the deal. <laughs> um, no deal. All right. Chat's saying oh. no deal. All right. <laughs> so you need to eliminate one case, either 13 or 8, and receive one more offer. What's it going to be? I think we all know what it's going to be here. Eight. <laughs> all right. So go ahead and eliminate case number eight for us. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Two dollars. There we go. Eight. All right. That is great news. So we have one more offer here for you. What is the offer? Your offer is seven dollars. Seven dollars. All right. So. Simple question, deal or no deal? If you choose no deal, we go with your case. What's it gonna be? Uh, deal. <laughs> All right, I think that is an excellent choice there. Um, so congratulations on your $7. Thank you. All right, we will get you in touch with the right people uh, to make sure we get that to you. All right, thank you very much for playing. That was probably our longest prize round. The rest of them from here are a little bit faster. Uh, so. Let oh, show 14? Uh, what's that? Oh, show 14. I mean, I mean, sure, I guess. Process of elimination, but <laughs> if you would pay attention. Yep, four. Okay. So Aww. this is going to bring us to our next Kahoot round, which is going to be all things Nintendo. So if you are a Nintendo fan like me, this might be the one for you. Yes. If you were kicked out, uh, feel free to re-enter the pin. It is the same exact pin. It also might tell you that your nickname is already taken. If that's the case, then uh, just pick something else, put it, put something close to it, add like a question mark or some symbol, something, <laughs> right? Yes, there is more. <laughs> there is a lot more money to be given. And a little fun fact about that, we were actually thinking of making that just sheer loot boxes and making it completely random, no skill involved, but we decided against it in the end. But yeah, we thought it would be funny if it's like test your spirit and then it's just complete randomness. Yeah, you can join. You just can't win a second time. Yes. So if you want to just see what you know and see if you can mess up some people, <laughs> then feel free to join in on this one. That's a mood, Darian. My laptop is kind of dying right now trying to stream this. <laughs> All right, anyone else still trying to join? Are we good? All right, I'm going to be starting the Nintendo Kahoot then. Remember, these get more and more difficult. Which of these is not a name of the member of the Nook family in an Animal Crossing?
Nice. Uh, yes. Seems like most people got that. My my favorite nook, Trent Nook. <laughs> All right, we have, it's like I'm trying to get the, the Zoom chat out of the way. Silver Star, Neo Kady, and Emily Warmonster. Hopefully I got those names right. What is not in, allowed in the Gerudo town in Legend of Zelda Breath in the Wild? Oof, that was a tricky one. But yes, men are not allowed in the Gerudo town, which is why you see images of cross-dressing Link on the internet. That's part of the game. All right, now we have, I don't know, lol, Caitlin, and Soul Toe <laughs> Serious. Or Soul Too Serious. It's probably too not Toe. Third question. What character was planned for Smash 4, but in the end was not added due to the 3DS's hardware limitations? Some people in the chat are mentioning Steve. That's that's kind of valid. Mojang has been saying that they've been trying to get Steve into Minecraft for like five or so years, but this is specifically the 3DS, not the Wii U. And I guess they couldn't handle the AI of the ice climbers. So they were cut from the game. We have Kelvin in first, Caitlin in second, and Solto Sirius in third. Who is the first Pokemon? <laughs> uh, this is such a good question. You're all right. Yes. So Rhydon was the first Pokemon to be developed. Um, Bulbasaur being the first of the Pokedex. Um, Arceus, Mu, you know, be like gods and creators of the universe or something like that. <laughs> so, yeah, Mew holds like the first. genetic data for all the other Pokemon and Arceus is kind of just literally God, so. All right, we have, dang, Zoom chat. Caitlin, Solto Sirius, and Kelvin in the top three. Final question. Which game caused Nintendo to lose a class action lawsuit due to people burning the palms of their hands? <laughs> I didn't say all the games are Nintendo games, Derek. <laughs> so yes, this was actually the very first Mario Party on the N64. They had a lot of games where you had to rotate the, the control stick as fast as possible, and it actually started to burn holes in people's hands. Um, so yeah. <laughs> it's brutal. They started providing gloves for people because of that lawsuit. Yep. All right, and the results... Chris in third, Calvin in second, and Caitlin in first. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now, is this the same Caitlin that won the last game? Yes, it is. All right. In that case, we'd be going to Calvin for this one. All right, well, congratulations, Calvin. All right, let me take you through the prize round. Now, if I can 
put a little line over spirit. And, and if anybody is also watching the NBA Finals while this is going on, there's one minute left. The Lakers lead by one. Oh. All right. So, Kelvin, would you like to take mind, sight, soul, body, or voice? Uh, can you hear me? Yes, yep. we can. Well, since I won Nintendo, I got to go with the Zelda Sheikah symbol. Uh, All right. Is it sight? Sight. All right. Well, the site challenge is very simple. Basically, we're going to play a little game of name that Pokemon. <laughs> so we are going to show you three different silhouettes, and you need to name each of the silhouettes. For each one you get correct, that is going to be $5 added towards your prize. All right, got it. <laughs> All right, so let's start off with our first one. Who is this? Ah, uh, that's Toon Link. How does that's the chat feel? Be. You think he's right? I, I, we're seeing a Pikachu a in the chat. <laughs> I, I, I yes. could see that though. <laughs> You're right. Oh, it right. is Toon Link. Yes, it is in fact Toon Link. So there you go. That is five dollars so far. All right, <laughs> let's head on. The shut up, Sam. <laughs> Let's head over to our second silhouette. Oh, who <laughs> is this? That is a Pokemon, Aerodactyl. How do we? People are saying it's Ridley. Yeah, uh, it does kind of <laughs> look like Ridley. You sure? You sure that it's that it's not Charizard? Jigglypuff. Yeah, <laughs> I can kind of see the Jigglypuff. <laughs> Yeah, it could be Jigglypuff, but I think I'll stick with Aerodactyl. Very confident. And you would be right. There we go. Another $5. <laughs> All right. We are at $10 now. We have one more silhouette for you. Who is this? That's Joker from Persona. Looking cool, Joker. All right, and there we go. Three for three. So congrats, uh, Kelvin. Uh, that is $15 that you will be earning, and I'm sure that uh, our people will get into contact with you about making sure we get that to you. So All right, cool. congratulations. You know your Nintendo stuff. You know your characters. Maybe I should be Nintendo division head or something. Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> take, take over my position as Splatoon head. <laughs> All right, thanks. Yeah, All right, thank you, Calvin. All right, we will be now going to MOBAs. Right into the next Kahoot. That's true. Some people are leaving, but that's their loss because they're missing out on valuable prizing. All right, anyone else still trying to get in? We have two Cyruses, okay. All right, MOBAs. What does Dota stand for? Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Ooh, that was pretty good turnout. 19 people got it right. All right, and in the top we have Kahoot Volt, Sam C, and Kelvin Chan. Kelvin still fiending top three again. I think that's been three games in a row. Which of these is not traditionally a support champion in league? I say traditionally because you could play them support, but I wouldn't <laughs> recommend it. Nice. Yeah, I respect it if you play Darius support. You just not traditionally a support champion, you know? All right, we have Kahoot Volt in first, Alvin in second, and Cheese B in third. What is the highest achievable rank in Heroes of the Storm? Hope you've been studying up on your hots. Ooh, most people got it right. No one put wood, bit disappointed at that one. <laughs> All right. Oh, that would have been the biggest has hot twist. Fallen. Anthony S, Drip, and Kelvin. Chance. Question's not hard enough. <laughs> <laughs> they get harder, hopefully. Which league item is exclusive to TFT and has never been featured in Summoner's Rift? Only true league players will get this one. Oh, that one was split. Yep, Zeke's Herald is very old, but it was an item. Changed into Zeke's Convergence now. And Spear of Shojin was also an item, but it was too niche, so I believe they just removed it from Summoner's Rift. But there were champions like Jax and Master Yi that benefited from it. Oh, no, it's not Death's Dance, I'm sorry. All right, and we have Caitlin and first again, Kahoot Volt and Sam C, but it all relies on this last question. Which champion had the very first League of Legends champion spotlight? You know, once again, your NBA Finals update, 10 seconds remaining, Miami up by one. Oh. David, stop making me nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it's Ezreal, surprisingly enough. And Tracer, I'm sorry if you put Tracer. All right, the podium. Alvin in third. Sam C in second. It's Caitlin again. <laughs> <laughs> wow wow All right. Kate, Caitlin is a legend <laughs> yeah this is just like easy mode for her but Sam you are in second place so you get to do the prize round if you want I'd love to do the prize round <laughs> alright All right. By the way, I'm also soul to serious. Just they wouldn't let me choose that same nickname for some reason. So, <laughs> gotcha. All right. So you have mind, soul, body, or voice. Mm. 
Mm. I'm gonna have to go with Soul. Soul. All right. All right. Oh, this is one of the fun ones. I mean, they're all fun, but like. Yeah, I was gonna say they're all pretty fun. <laughs> oh boy. Your soul shall be tested through your art. You will have 45 seconds to draw one of the following. So yeah, you have time to get set up, but once you start drawing, you only have 45 seconds. All right, one sec. Yeah. We would prefer it if you can screen share like Microsoft Paint or something, but if you just post the result, that works too. And Sam putting out the reminder that TG officer applications are due tonight. If you're interested, there will be a couple hours after the GBM to apply. So, all right, all right I'm uh, I'm ready. Okay, in that case, let me start a quick timer. Three, two, one, go. So how this is going to work for chat is I'm going to put out a straw poll and you get to rate how good the drawing is. Yes. I'm not going to put out the link just yet because that would be kind of dumb if we don't even, you know. <laughs> okay, and your time is up. Right. Um, my poor we're showing you send the image. Um, let me, I can't make you co host. The Discord chat would be great if you have GBM discussion open. All right. Is it letting me see Discord, right? The screen share should be working. Oh, you can't see Discord? Did you only share your... Okay. I will transition to this real quickly then. Okay. It hasn't been posted yet, but when Sam does post it. Yeah, Kahoot Volt's just sitting there. I don't want to post a straw poll yet because then people are going to vote. Ooh. I had cardboard, so I drew on cardboard. That works. All right. This is the drawing. So there's the drawing. Uh, can you also paste that? Uh... The straw poll in the Discord chat, not yes. Discord, uh, in the Zoom chat. My Zoom's also lagging a lot, so. <laughs> me too, brother, me too. <laughs> give it a little bit to update. You guys can appraise the drawing. <laughs> Bianca says you should join creative. All right. We will give it about another 30 seconds for Let everyone to vote. Look at the results. Most people are giving it a five. Yeah, yeah. Quality drawing here. All right. Give another five seconds, I'd say. Four, three, two, and one. All right. So 
your prize is going to be the average of, well, all of the scores you received. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look here. What is going to be your prize? Let me see if I can do the math. I am on it as well. So, Miles, you can confirm it for me, but we're looking at 1155. I, I messed up. Whoops. <laughs> so, that's probably right. Let me. All right. <laughs> all right, people. And, and I see I see the chat saying to to round up. So, you know what? Let let's round it up. $12 headed your way for that beautiful drawing. All right. So now you could say that you are a paid artist. <laughs> Finally, my first job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you so much uh, for participating. So thank once you. again, we will get that uh, Amazon gift card your way. All right. All right, we're going to be going to the Indie Kahoot now. This is Kahoot number four out of six. Yes. So like I said, the deal and no deal one was easy. The longest one, the rest of these should go a bit faster. All right. So jump on back into the Kahoot, same exact pin. Uh, if you need to re-log in, just do so. Wesley's feeling confident this game. Oh, uh, yes, I love it. Right? I think everyone else is almost ready. You can always join in the middle if worst comes to worst. But I'm going to start it. Indie questions. Someone's trying to steal Caitlin's energy for this one. Which of these Fall Guys <laughs> mini games cannot, or cannot be the final round? Season two just dropped yesterday. So a lot of those mini games are still there. Well, all of them are. Yeah, I think there's like four new mini games. Yeah. But, but yes, it's Egg Scramble because Egg Scramble is a team game. And if you have multiple people on a team, you can't move it down to just one person. Mm hmm. Sam Unless somehow you get a 1v1v1, which I don't think is possible, but... <laughs> no, even then, there'd still be two oh, yeah. people left. Okay, fall, fall ball, 1v1. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sam, Kelvin, and bruh. Question number two. Multi-select. Who is the final boss in the true pacifist run of Undertale? Oh. I don't think this I don't is know. This isn't multi-select. There's only one answer. Yeah. Because no, it is true pacifist, so. Yeah, so so you yeah, I'm not sure how multi-select is formatted, but <laughs> yeah, okay. Yes, it is flowy. Oof. Not Cyrus, Sam, and Kelvin. Question number three. What is the currency in Hollow Knight? You can also process of elimination this one, but it'll be faster if you know which one it is. <laughs> well, assuming you know the other one, I, I, I really only know one of these. <laughs> yes, the US dollar. 
It is Geo. Bells are from Animal Crossing. Silver Serpents are from Gangplank's Ultimate. And Gil is from Final Fantasy series. Not Cyrus, Sam, and Kelvin in the top three again. What boss in Terraria do you have to kill to enter hard mode? The Wall of Flesh. All right. Pretty tricky one, but nine people still got it. Yep. We got one more in the indie category. Yep. Sam and Kelvin continuing to hang out in that top two. <laughs> Final question. Which of the following Minecraft mobs will only attack you after you hit it? Oh, rip Andy. Oh, no. <laughs> it's the llama. Yes. So the Enderman will attack you if you look at it. Uh, villagers, uh, by default, are non hostile, and the llama will spit on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. We might have the top three changed up a little bit. Oh. Voodoo in third, Calvin in second. Sam C. I'm still seeing third place on, yeah. <laughs> I think everybody's lagging then. Oh, uh, my, my bad, my But yeah, so Sam's already won. Kelvin's already won. Vuda, I believe, is a TG officer. That's Ashley. Yes. So does it give us fourth and fifth? Yeah, it does. I need to... I believe not Cyrus was fourth, but I'm assuming that's also a TG officer. I don't know who's not Cyrus. Is, is not Cyrus out there? <laughs> is not Cyrus one of them? Please let us know because we can't continue until we know. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that Sam and Calvin would love some more Amazon gift cards. <laughs> Tony's saying, I mean, I'm technically not Rude. Cyrus. <laughs> None of us are Cyrus. Yeah. Um, do, we have, do we have fifth place? Fifth place was Caitlin too. Is that Caitlin? Let's just do it again. Oh, so Caitlyn too is not Caitlyn. Who's that? We might have to go with Grace. I if no one's gonna claim fourth or fifth place. Oh, good. My Zoom has stopped responding. There are two imposters among us, not yes. Cyrus and Caitlyn too. I know. Do, do anybody want to claim those two people? <laughs> not Cyrus or Caitlyn too. All right. I guess we'll go with Grace then. Congrats on your sixth place. All right. So, Grace, welcome to the prize round. We have three categories left. All right. I believe that they are uh, mind, body, and voice. All right. Which one is it going to be? I will go with mind. Can mind. you guys hear me okay? Yes, yep. we can. Okay. Loud cool. and clear. In that All case, right. it's big brain time. So, mind is my personal favorite. All right. So, you think you're good at trivia? Well, get ready for some more trivia because <laughs> that's what this one's all about. So in this round, we are going to give you essentially three overarching questions, each with five parts to them. And they are going to be very simple, quick fire questions. All right. For each one you get right, you get $1. All right. It's as simple as that. So 
Any questions? <laughs> uh, no, I'm ready. Great. So let's go ahead and bring up the first question. Which one of these Overwatch heroes can heal? Or which ones? There are multiple. Yes. So Mercy, which... Lucio, Zenyatta. Is that your final answer? Yes. All right, Miles, that's all you. I actually don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does it count if they can heal themselves? It says who can heal. Okay, I guess technically Bastion. It's a good thing you caught that because, yes, Bastion can heal themselves. So, there you go. So I take it that that is a five for five right there. Yep. All right, there we go. We are five for five so far. Good job. Let's head over to question number two. List the Fall Guys season one mini games in which a victor can be chosen. So we've started out the list for you with Hexagon, Fall Mountain, and Jump Showdown. And here are the rest of the mini games. Can you identify what five other mini games can determine a winner? Oh, I don't have Fall Guys. Does chat want to help? No, no, no <laughs> cheating for chat. No, no chat. No, no okay. help for the chat. Um, but you could take a, just a guess. Just name five of the mini games that are listed. <laughs> um, we'll go with Egg Scramble because I saw that earlier. Um, Fruit Shoot, Block Party. Fall ball and jump club. All right. Okay. So you got one of those right with block party. However, Royal Fumble, Slime Climb, Perfect Match, and Seesaw are the other ones. And this is a tricky one because Royal Fumble is the only one where it's actually like a final. However, other mini games, if people are boosted, then you can win. Tail tag is uh, your uh, for uh, people in chat saying tail tag. You're probably thinking Royal Fumble. That is essentially tail tag, but like that determines a winner. Tail yeah. tag uh, separately is uh, a mini game that eliminates half of the players. Mm -hmm. uh, Seesaw, you can actually kind of uh, cheat the system a little bit. You can actually be the only person to finish the race, and everybody else can time out. Yeah. And so it, you can actually grief people on Seesaw, but it doesn't happen very often. Yeah. Typically happens with hackers, but... Yeah. All right. So that is one out of five here. So we're at a total of six so far. So the last one, we have one more question for you. Oh, and boy. That, and this one might be a bit of a, a crapshoot here. Which one of these are actual Kingdom Hearts titles? Oh, and again, it's yes, multiple. Simple yes or no for each of these. So let's start first with the first one. Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Truths. Is that a Kingdom Hearts title, yes or no? Um, yes. Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days. Real title or not? Yes. Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Deluxe Remix Plus. Real title or not? <laughs> No. Kingdom Hearts HD 2.8 Final Chapter Prologue. Real title or not? Yes. And Kingdom Hearts VR Experience. Real title or not? No. All right. So we had yes, yes, no, yes, no. Okay. So you had three of those correct. Chain of Truths is not a title, and VR Experience is actually a title. Oh. So. There you go. So you had three out of five there. So adding that from uh, your previous two questions, that is nine out of 15. So you got uh, $9 uh, in Amazon gift cards. So congratulations on that. And thank you very, very much for playing. Thank you. All right. Yeah, Kingdom Hearts is uh, interesting. Right, but it's time for some shooters. And yeah, some, someone got paid to make those names. Yeah, that's why I wanted this to very much be a question because Kingdom Hearts has the most absurd titles in any video game franchise.
Like, I think there's even one that uses, like, Greek letters or something like that. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I think it was, like, it was, like, Kai Unchained or something like that. Wes is trying to use reverse psychology on this one. Wes <laughs> kind of super weird. <laughs> Good name, Neo Kid. All right, everyone ready? Okay, I'm going to start it up. Which of these is not a Valorant character? Take your time on this one. All right, it's Master Chief. Master Chief is from Halo. We have Kelvin, Raismane, and Alvin. Question number two. In Overwatch, what does McCree say when he uses his ultimate? Dead man walking. Right? It seems like almost everyone got that one. Apparently, he also says dead band walking, but it's not his ultimate quote. Yeah, but am I, am I, I, am I the only one here that doesn't know anything about Overwatch? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Thank I you, put, Derek. I put dead man walking as a, a league reference for Graves. Right. Kelvin, Raceman, and Wes got zero right. Well, apparently, that's wrong. In Splatoon, which of these is part of the Squid Sisters? Technically a shooter. <laughs> that is true. So here's your curveball question. <laughs> nice. Hey, there we go. We have Race Main, Anthony, and Bitey. <laughs> Question four. What is the most played Counter-Strike Global Offensive map? Nice. Seems like most people got that as well. Ray's main, Alvin, and Cryus 3. It's the final one, the hardest one. COD Zombies originally appeared in which COD title? COD short for Call of Duty, hopefully. You know that one. It's okay, Anthony. I don't play CSGO either. <laughs> Ooh, that one was pretty divided. That means on the podium we have Alvin in third. All right. Wes got zero right in second. <laughs> the reverse psychology worked. And Ray's main in first. All right. Congrats, Ray's main. Who is Ray's main? Or is that a TG officer? Wait, Derek, are oh, you? Oh, okay, that's Derek. Derek. All right. Well, 
bed. Wes got zero right. Congratulations, you get to be our next lucky contestant. It did work. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you have two choices left. You have the choice to either go with the body or the voice. Which um, is it going to be? Body. All right. Your body is ready? Yeah. All right. So in this challenge, oh, your God. body will be tested <laughs> by a type racer against three of our fantastic TG officers. For each one you beat, you will receive $5. Are you a confident typer? Um, no. <laughs> all right. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm sure it'll all be okay. Bianca, yeah. Bianca, jump in there. <laughs> all right, let me make the lobby. All right, we, we need three of our fantastic TG officers to jump in on this one. Race your friends. Okay. I'm going to see if I can privately give this to Bianca Owo Gang Gang. Sam wants to play as well. And then Wes. All right, so Miles, uh, so it's going to be Miles, Sam, Bianca as our TG officers up against Wes here. Ooh, can we change our names to see who won? Uh, I think you can sign in. Yeah, but I mean, if you don't have an account, we're not going to go through that. <laughs> oh, you can choose a guest nickname. Where do you see that? It's at the top right, sign in, and then you go to the final one, create a guest nickname. So I just made myself nanometer. Wait, I don't see that on mine. Like right up here, sign in? Uh-huh. Huh. Well, by process of elimination, we know your guest. Oh, wait, found it. Okay. Yeah, if not, then we, I mean, everyone will know what their words permitted is. <laughs> so at the Ooh. end of it. It's gamer time. Oh, God. Time to bust out the mechanical keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a laptop if it helps. <laughs> All right, I am starting the race. Wait, I want it. Mm -hmm. Or just okay, ten seconds. Okay. Wait, I don't. In. Did West not make it in? I don't have <laughs> text. No. Oh. Do you need <laughs> huh. Okay. We'll we'll try another <laughs> lobby then. Dang, okay. I was just waiting for it to Did start. You, I think you might have to click join race. <gasps> oh. That, that's my bad. I didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, great game show. Great game show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Woo. I guess might as well finish. Yeah, I mean, you could use the same lobby, right? Okay, race has ended. <laughs> As you can oh, see, leave race, then join my race. speed. Okay. Nice. All okay. right. There we go. Okay, so Miles is in, West is in, Sam okay. and Bianca Everyone are in. Everyone hit join race. All right. So it looks like we are all set to go, and we are. We live in here. a society. All right. Wes taking the early lead here at 81 uh, words per minute here. Miles not far behind, uh, trailing about 72, although this is also accounting for lag here. Wes and Miles are neck to neck. Sam and Bianca bringing up the rear here, uh, chilling right at around 40 and 30 words per minute each. But Miles is taking a commanding lead at this point, at eight, uh, breaking 80 words per minute. Wes is doing a good job trying to catch up, though. It is anybody's race at this point. Miles bringing it in here. Oh, let's go. Finishes at 89 words per minute. 
Wes coming in second place here oh. at 77 words per minute. Sam and Bianca uh, rounding it out here. It is a pretty competitive match between Sam and Bianca right now, though. <laughs> Type Racer Division 1. All right. But as Sam and Bianca finish here, Sam coming in third place. It looks like at 53. Bianca doing an excellent job finishing it up at around 47 words per minute. All right. <laughs> so excellent job, Wes. Thank uh, you. That you beat two of our uh, trend gaming officers. That means you are going to get ten dollars headed your way in Amazon gift cards. Wow. Okay. Pretty poggers, am I right? <laughs> Say, have I started typing on my second monitor? <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. So this brings us to our last Kahoot category, which is going to be miscellaneous topics. So yep. for anything for anything that didn't fit uh, into our other Kahoot categories ended up here. All right. This is <laughs> the last chance to become a contestant and earn some Amazon gift cards. All right. And whoever wins will by default end up in the voice prize round. You have to sing five songs. <laughs> there, no, there is no singing required. <laughs> All right, everyone, ready to start? If you, yeah, if, if you wanna, we won't deny it. Yeah, maybe we have an alternate where it's like a singing performance. <laughs> All right, here we go. Which of these is not an available color for Among Us? You know, we had thrown an Among Us question. See, I, I always play orange. That's my color. Ooh, almost everyone. Yeah, gray kind of sus. All right, we have, let me zoom out of the, the way for a second. We have Derek in first, Cheers Love in second, and Wormstring in third. Is Derek really Derek? <laughs> Who knows at this point? How many main series Final Fantasy games have been released? Oh, did we forget? The, okay, this 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 one should not be a multi-select, but <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. So yes, 15 main series games, but obviously, you know. Are we counting remakes, remasters, sequels, spin-offs, and mobile games? <laughs> and you had Final Fantasy VII remake come out recently. How does that factor in? We don't really know. So yeah, that wasn't supposed to be multi-select, so all apologies for that. Um, so if you did select both, then great. <laughs> if not, then you still receive partial credit. We have Wormstring Lowell in first, Derek in second, and Cheers Love in third. Is this test curved? <laughs> Which of the following is not a magic school in Wizard 101? Hopefully you've been studying your Wizard 101 for the GVM. All Cyrus doppelgangers. Oh here, my so. gosh. Only three people. Wow. You know, I applaud you three people. Maybe I should have put this one as the hardest one. Oh, wait, no, the hardest one is a really good question. I don't want to sacrifice that. Derek's on a hot spree in first with Wormstring Lowell and Cheers Love in third. Fourth question Which country was Tetris created in?
There we go. Soviet Union. So yeah, uh, it was actually created by someone in the Soviet Union. The government claimed the rights to it uh, and had to negotiate with developers in other countries to, you know, uh, license it outside of the Soviet Union because it was such a good, successful game. <laughs> yeah, so Tetris was once owned by the Soviet government. Yes. Derek with a commanding lead and then Wormstring, Lolan, Cheers, Love in third place. Yeah, as Ryan says, our Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> Final question. What is Miles' least favorite Fall Guys minigame? This is a really tough one. <laughs> yep, it's tiptoe. And my issue with tiptoe is you have to play super lame when you reach the end, because if you try to trailblaze, you'll just fall off and die and you won't continue. But if you just sit around and let someone else find out the path and die for it, then you make it, which is why I very much dislike tiptoe. Then All on right. the podium, third Take place we have Worm String Bowl. Second place, Cheers, Love. First place, Derek. Good job, Derek. Yeah, Sweet. Derek. Now, is, now the question is, is it really Derek? <laughs> Derek, was that you? <laughs> no, no, it wasn't Derek. So is, is Derek a, is Derek a TG officer or is it? I I think it is actually. I think Derek was me. So we should go to Cheers Love. Who's Cheers Love? It was you, Mike. <laughs> How do you not remember? <laughs> Cheers Love was Derek. <laughs> Okay, there we go. All right. So, Wormstring Lol. Who's Wormstring? Okay, Emily. Emily. All right. Hello there, Emily. Hello, Are you... can you hear me? Yes, we yep. can. Okay. Are you ready to participate in the last prize round? Not really, but I'll try. All right. That's the spirit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the prize, uh, this last prize round is very simple. Your voice will be tested by your ability to recognize popular quotes from video games. For each one that you get right, you will receive $5. All you need to do is fill in the blank. Okay? Okay. <laughs> no. So let's go ahead and go to our first one here. So blank, blank oh. to pay respects. <laughs> Press F to pay respects. Yes. 100% everybody knows this one uh, from I forget which Call of Duty game this was uh, but yeah completely absurd that you need to press F to pay respects <laughs> just give us a cutscene come on I know right so advanced warfare thank you Derek advanced wafer thank you Derek <laughs> <laughs> wafer. <laughs> thank right. you Mario but our princess is in blank blank another castle that is correct. There we go. Right, classic Mario quote right there. In one of our test runs, we had someone say a different castle. So I'm glad you got <laughs> that. <one. laughs> so we are two for two so far. That is $10. Let us go to our last. All we had to do was follow the damn blank. Blank. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Follow the the damn train, CJ. All we CJ? had to do was CJ? follow the damn train, CJ. <laughs> yes, there we go. <laughs> All right, that is three for three. So congratulations. <laughs> uh, that is fifteen dollars in Amazon gift card headed your way. Uh, thank you very very much for playing. Thank you. All right. And I believe that leaves us with one last slide. Ryan, if you're still here, I don't know if you want to finish us off or not. But I am still here. No worries. Right. I've been watching Dan the entire time. Uh, applied to 
If it's zoned out and eating, yes. Please do it and uh, <laughs> you people are unbelievable, you know that? <laughs> Let us see that lovely hair, Ryan. <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> And no, <laughs> but anyways, uh, just again, I just want to quickly thank everyone who's here uh, and anyone who uh, did come. Thank you all so much for coming out. Um, I really, really appreciate it uh, that you guys all did. And just to reiterate again with fall recruitment, we have actually extended this deadline now officially. Uh, so again, this will be due tomorrow, not the 9th anymore, but the 10th at midnight, just to accommodate for anyone who was here in full GBM and just the fact that it happened in such a weird way. I was made aware that uh, a lot of people actually um, found out that, hey, um, you know, this is the first time they actually heard of fall recruitment for TG. So, and they were actually genuinely like uh, wanting to apply. So for all of you who have, uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, yeah, and also just to let you guys know, for those who have already applied, I appreciate you guys for doing so, and those who are applying right now or tomorrow, this is just to let everyone know that uh, no matter what time you've applied to, we'll look at all your applications the same and with the same fairness. Uh, so don't worry about like, oh, because you submitted it last minute, um, mm -hmm. uh, you might get looked, uh, your application might be looked down upon because uh, let me just tell you a quick story. I was one of them who applied uh, almost last minute. So uh, here I am as president. So don't worry. <laughs> you can you can get there. <laughs> uh, anyways, but again, uh, thank you all for coming. Um, yeah, that's kind of it for me. Yeah, if I could add on something real quick, by making it all the way through the fall GVM, like that's already the sort of mentality we're looking for in TG officers. Like it's really cool. Cool to have people with a lot of experience but what we really want is we want people who will stick with tg pour their passion into it and like you know kind of carry on the legacy of tg and so you know making it all the way through this fall gvm all two hours 20 minutes or so and like sticking around being a part of the community like that's exactly what we want in tg mm -hmm. officers so i encourage you all to give it a try 